Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Tuesday, April 23rd, 2019. Happy Tuesday. I hope everyone had a good Monday and is going to have a fantastic Tuesday. Yes, wishing everyone a fantastic Tuesday. Okay. Um, please take it, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. I'll get you all set up. Also keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. Whenever you are meant to hear, or whenever you hear this message, it is meant for you to hear it. Yes? Um, also keep in mind that these messages are timeless, okay? So just because it's an it's it's dated for a certain date does not mean that it can only be or it can only resonate on that day. Yes? All right, guys. Let's just get to it and see what we've got for today. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Tuesday, April 23rd, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. Let's see what we've got for today. Tuesday, April 23rd. April 23rd. All right. One more shuffle. And then we'll see what we've got. All right, guys. Best messages, please, Spirit. Tuesday, April 23rd. Best messages for this moment. King of Pentacles. Overall energy, ooh, uh-oh, the Ace of Cups, ooh, 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 okay, let's see what else we've got here, ah, here's the Emperor again, and this time the Emperor has come out with the King of Pentacles and Divine Wisdom, okay, so we have an individual here. This could be someone of the masculine energetic spectrum. It also could be um, it could be you, the viewer, whether you're a male or female, it doesn't matter. Um, 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 um. Wow. Okay, well, here, check it out, y'all. Um, so this definitely could be an extension of yesterday's reading because the emperor did come out yesterday. Um, and what I'm getting, the energy that I'm getting from the king of pentacles is someone who's kind of grown up a little bit. Um, there's definitely a, a, a strong sense of maturity with the king of pentacles here okay but this is also that someone that is could be very um you know well grounded well manifested um you know an energy that kind of like someone that kind of has their shit together you know what i mean um is probably very co um career oriented yes or at least career focused, but also commitment focused here, okay? And I'm not getting, especially with um, the divine wisdom here, this card, 
I'm not getting someone that's like overly materialistic. Like they have a good grasp on their material life. Okay. The material aspects of life, you know, um, someone that, you know, is just strong and confident is what I'm hearing. Sure of themselves, you know, know knows themselves or has a better idea of themselves. And now, so what I feel, what I really feel, this divine wisdom energy here, this is the, you know, the, it's literally just what it says. It's divine wisdom, okay? It's um, ultimate knowledge, ultimate learning, ultimate awareness, yes? Uh, this is a heavy influence on someone in a sense, growing up and showing up or um, getting their act together or having their act together. It's either through, we'll say, some sort of divine intervention or um, going through the process, some sort of learning um, that they are able to grow up and show up in this way or be this well manifested blah 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 something like that okay um but I, especially you know between the emperor and the king of pentacles there is definitely an energy of someone taking control of their lives for the better okay now <laughs> we do have the ace of cups here underneath the deck okay so this is another influencer all right, this is a very big influence because not only is this someone willing to uh, give love, it's someone that has a has you know love for themselves. Okay, now that is a very important when we get to the bottom row here, the bottom row representing judgment or, or containing judgment, the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. Okay, so someone, there's definitely an energy of someone growing up here, but making a call, making a judgment call, making a final call and saying, <laughs> I literally just heard getting the fuck out of here or get the fuck out of here. So what I'm getting with this <laughs> What I'm getting with this is um, someone that has made a judgment call is walking away from something in their lives and is working towards something new. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, Eight of Cups. Those are two eights. That's a lot of abundance. So this really could be someone striking it out on their own. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. It's like someone has taken their power back has learned a great deal, has found a, a sense of self-love or inner union, or if it's, and yeah, it, it, Spirit did just say inner union. Um, so that is what's going on for some people out here, okay? Um, and But see, it could just be the very beginnings of this inner union, okay? And that's absolutely where it starts with the Ace of Cups, with that one cup. You, you fill your one cup, and then you do, also you do have another cup because you could see it, you see it this way as, you know, the masculine has one cup, the feminine has another. So you fill one cup and then you get to the two of cups where you, where the counterpart energy is introduced. So if you're a masculine here, it would be the feminine counterpart within you is introduced. Vice versa, if you're a feminine oriented person here. Um, and that's where you get into the two of cups and then that's where that real union, inner union starts to really take place. So that's where I see somebody is right now. Now, that this Ace of Cups could also mean that um, they have a cup to give to someone and they may have been in a situation in which they needed to leave. This could be divorce. This could be, um, you know, a longstanding relationship, something like that. But a judgment call was made in which someone decided to walk away. This person did, this emperor and this king of pentacles. Okay, um, I am being feeling compelled. The Emperor is Aries energy. King of Pentacles is uh, Taurus energy, but it also could be another Earth sign, Virgo or Capricorn. You have Cups here, which is in the, uh, water. 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. It's beautiful, actually. It really is beautiful because I really do feel like some have really started to get the message um, and move on with their lives. That's what, really what I'm getting here. But there's definitely a sense of taking control, taking your power back, but it's not overly controlling. Like I said, this card, Divine Wisdom, kind of like really tempers that or balances that out. This is someone that is recognizing that, you know, they create their own reality. Ultimately, they are the ones in control of their lives, not somebody else. You know, this King of Pentacles energy is definitely a situation in which, you know, they, people or someone recognizes that they are, they are the ones in control of their lives, no one else. And so that absolutely could be the influencer or a major influence towards making some sort of judgment call or going through some sort of awakening and walking away from something, okay? Because judgment to me is very much an ascension card. This is like the awakening card. This is beautiful energy. Now, I, I don't wanna get anybody's hopes up because with this eight of pentacles here, I do see this person still doing a lot of work to balance themselves out, to really get their feet on their ground or to get the ball rolling in the direction that they want to go in. But that doesn't mean it couldn't include another person. Like, like I said, with this ace of cups here, this really also could be um, someone that has a cup of love to give to someone else. Okay, but I do see that there is some work that's still being done. Spirit is saying some sort of inner work or work on themselves, work on their manifestation. Maybe if some if this person is really striking it on their own, out on their own for like the first time ever, or maybe the first time in a long time, they may have some work to do to really get grounded. Not not back grounded; they're already grounded, but um, established, I guess. Um, you know, especially if someone is changing homes or whatnot, um, or in the case of someone, you know, coming out of a long-standing relationship or a marriage, there is going to be some work that they're, they're, they're going to need to do on themselves to heal after walking away from some sort of situation, okay? Just keep that in mind, but ultimately, this is, this is good. This is definitely progress from yesterday. Or we could really just be continuing the story from yesterday, too. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to get into clarification here. And I'm just going to do it by row. So I'm going to start at the top with the Emperor, the King of Pentacles, Divine Wisdom. Get some clarity there. And then we're going to go to the bottom row. Judgment, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. Give me, I'm sorry guys, I'm just, I'm looking at this one more time, channeling to see if there's anything else, but yeah, we're going to, sorry, Spirit just said, yeah, get to the clarifiers. Okay, okay. <laughs> Here we go, guys. This doesn't even have to be a long, a long-standing relationship. This is what was coming through that I was trying to get before. This doesn't even have to be a long-standing relationship. This could just be someone making a decision um, as to the best path to move on. Okay, this doesn't have to be anything major. This could literally be as simple as someone was interested in someone, learned how it probably was not going to work out between them and kind of moved on. It's not anything that's um, malicious, uh, rid riddled with malintent or anything like that. It's literally just a judgment call, you know? It, I'm just, I'm saying that to temper, I guess, the energies a little bit. It literally could be that simple. <laughs> All right, one more shuffle. And then we'll get into clarification here for the top row. 
this masculine energy here. The Emperor, King of Pentacles, Divine Wisdom. Now, it doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman that's more oriented in masculine energy. It could just be you. Even if you are more oriented in feminine energy, it really could just be you who's working more from a place of your own masculinity. Okay, take it as it resonates. Here we go. King of Pentacles, the Emperor, and Divine Wisdom. A little bit of clarity, please, Spirit. So the Seven of Swords kind of just like flashed, <laughs> flashed me. Um, it's interesting. And then the nine, then the, the moon comes out. Okay. With the King of Pentacles. Yes. Wow. That's very interesting. Okay. Underneath the deck is the Knight of Cups. So we definitely have someone here that is... Um, coming from that is coming from a place of the heart chakra okay this is also someone that has some sort something to give okay wants to it, it, it feels it feels like someone that is really very loving or feeling a lot of like kind of in their feels about something definitely feeling something for somebody wants to express that wants to potentially get to know them here um okay we have the nine of swords with the nine of wands there's definitely a guarded energy here um and it has to do with the circumstances of your lives for some reason there's something here that is making people guarded and it either could be this person that's represented by the emperor or the, and the king of pentacles um with this well for some of you this knight of cups energy is mutual between the two of you so because of that then you both could have this nine of swords nine of wands energy here okay um guarded and it has to do it has to do with the past your past individually not together necessarily it could be together but like individually you know there's a bit of there's a guarded there's a sense of guardedness there is um a sense of perseverance i don't feel like either either of you are really having an energy of like really giving up on the situation like if there are some circumstances in your life that would cause you to kind of pull back I don't feel like you're doing that because of this divine wisdom here. You have a deeper understanding or someone has a deeper understanding of like the law of attraction, the ways of the universe and all that stuff. So it's not necessarily that you're pulling back. It's just that you have a sense of guardedness to you. And that guardedness is kind of like, oh God, it's a little, it's creating some sort of anxiety. Okay. But keep in mind that these are nines. These are endings right then you have the page of pentacles the king of pentacles again with the moon now we could be talking about the full moon that we just had which was in libra um on the 19th okay the 19th of april so this could have influenced someone towards wanting to send some sort of message wanting to start some sort of new cycle wanting to make some sort of offer okay you do have wow this is so cool you have the king of pentacles with the page of pentacles so you could see this king as sending out the page to make some sort of offer send some sort of message trying it's it, it, there's definitely an energy of wanting to get to know someone better also there could be commitment energies here very pretty strong commitment energies because you know both the king and the page are about, well, the pentacles suit is about commitment. It can represent commitment. And you have the card here. I'm not, not the card. Yes, you do have the card. One of many cards, Eric. <laughs> you have the moon here. There's illusion. Something is not what it seems also. Okay. For some reason, for some of you, something is not what it seems. Um, and that could simply be the fear or the apprehension or the anxiety someone might be feeling okay 
Trust your intuition. Really trust your intuition with this. Because that's really the, way, the best way that you navigate through the darkness. When you can't physically see and you're surrounded by illusion, you have to trust your gut. Okay? I think that's the biggest thing here. There's fear. There's definitely fear involved in this situation. And you need to trust your gut here. That will get you through it, okay? Let's now look at Judgment, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Judgment, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Judgment, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. Really? Just one card. Page of Swords with the Hermit. Okay. The Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But then you have this Page of Swords energy that fell on the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. So this, somebody's watching someone. And someone's keeping to themselves, really, with this Hermit energy. It's almost as if they could be, well, look. Mm. it's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. Uh, so someone could be uh, finding their inner light. For some of you, they are watching you and it's helping them come to terms with some things, uh, find their inner light, go through a spiritual awakening for some of you. Now also, okay, now I get it now. Part of what this, um, this period of working on themselves here, this is definitely a period of working on themselves here. Someone has walked away from something Eight of Cups. They made a judgment call. They went through some, through some sort of awakening. Yes, they're going through the ascension process. And now they have physical work to do, you know, to work on this. Wow. Okay. To work on themselves. But as I was saying that, I heard Spirit say to work on this, um, di this love, this, this divine union, this offering even. It's not the strength card, but I'm feeling an energy of someone is like cultivating the inner strength to potentially make some sort of move, okay? That's really interesting. Just one card and it's the Page of Swords. Now the Page of Swords is a very inquisitive energy, okay? So this one is, this is someone who's seeking and learning. It could very well be that someone is looking, at, is trying to figure out how to approach another person. Hmm. But yeah, this is definitely a period where someone is doing their inner soul searching. They could be keeping to themselves. now. It also could be, <laughs> yeah, okay, so this is why I'm also getting that energy of someone is like trying to find the inner strength to say something because um, with the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles, it's like they're, they're walking, a, they're slowly walking away from any sort of fear, anxiety, or whatnot. It's almost as if someone is learning to be themselves. Maybe it's learning to be themselves around you. I want y'all, I want y'all to notice how Spirit's got me doing these love soulmate readings for like damn near a month now. Like we're on week three. I just want y'all to know that. <laughs> but now also, this doesn't necessarily have to be about um, some sort of soulmate relationship. This could just be someone 
going like this literally could be a masculine energy going through the process of finding that because because you really could have someone that has finally found the value of their own ace of cups and now is going through the process of figuring it out of of growing up and showing up and starting a new chapter with this page of pentacles because for the longest time the page of pentacles in my readings at least has represented like a new level right a level up um, starting from a new point of view even okay and with the king of pentacles here it's like they haven't lost their king status Now, and with that, the moon could represent the fact that you're, it, it's not what it seems on the surface. So what, and it's interesting because somebody left a comment last, yesterday on Morning Coffee about, um, you know, what's happening energetically doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're going to see in the 3D. And, you know, for those of us that have been on, like, say, a divine partnership journey or a twin flame journey, you know that full well all too well you know the energy of the situation is slightly different or maybe radically different from what you're physically seeing in the three dimension three-dimensional world so that is another representation of or, or, excuse me this is a representation of that the, the king of pentacles the page of pentacles and the moon someone has finally really i honestly i i hope people are not taking offense to this but i'm really growing up and showing up is the name of the game here with these king of pentacles energies okay and starting here like these both of these king of pentacles energies right and starting a new chapter um, coming to a new uh, level in life, a new form of commitment. This really could just be a commitment to the self, okay? But all of this is an, on an energetic basis. And so you cannot necessarily see the process with your physical eyes in the three-dimensional world. Again, things are not exactly what they seem. What you see on the surface may be very different from what's actually happening beneath the surface yes okay but yeah there's definitely an energy of soul searching of getting to know oneself better of finding their inner light of walking some sort of solitary path even uh, your own union path your own path towards union and this is inner union that we're talking about here because obviously inner union needs to be achieved before you have some sort of <clears throat> truly beneficial, healthy, and balanced relationship with someone in the external, right? <laughs> okay. We're going to close this reading here. Crystal Mandala? Sure. I guess so. Why not? I mean, this is my default. I guess I am kind of looking for more uh, to expand my Oracle decks. Um, I have some in mind and actually even I was thinking about, you know, getting back into Twin Flame readings, but kind of changing how I do them, adjusting them a little bit. I don't want to rush it, so I'm not going to not going to rush it. But if you guys have any sort of suggestions on like, you know, some of your favorite Oracle decks, um, go ahead and put them in the, the, the comments below. I wouldn't mind, you know, checking them out, seeing if any of them resonate with me. Like I said, I have some in mind already, but I'm open to suggestions. Yes? Yes! Okay. So we're going to get our close. <laughs> we're going to get our closing message here. One more shuffle. Alrighty. Closing message for today. Tuesday, April 23rd. Best message, please, spirit. Heavenly mercy. 
ooh, okay, I'm already picking up that this has to do with some sort of fear or anxiety here, some sort of guardedness. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. Now, I definitely, if, if this is in fact you connecting with someone, um, I really feel, especially with this Moon card, all is not what it seems. I don't feel like this is giving up or blocking the situation. It's just having your guard up at least, okay? And Heavenly Mercy, card number 18, uh, Angel Uziel and Smoky Quartz, I kind of feel like it's speaking directly to that. All right. Let's see what we've got here. There it is. All right, card number 18, Heavenly Mercy. We bring you the gift of heavenly mercy. As you grow spiritually, your energy field becomes more substantial. Your thoughts and actions carry more karmic weight in the world. As your power increases, your ability to do good increases too. Your positive words can have a potent effect on others. So too can the very human moments where you may be having an quote off day and unintentionally respond to another in a way that is not unconditionally loving. We do not want you to become afraid of becoming powerful. We know that, wait. I'm sorry, I'm gonna start over because I feel like I, I screwed that up somehow. <laughs> we're gonna start, we're gonna try this again. We bring you the gift of heavenly mercy. As you grow spiritually, your energy field becomes more substantial. Your thoughts and actions carry more karmic weight in the world. As your power increases, your ability to do good increases too. Your positive words can have a potent effect on others. So too can the very human moments where you may be having a quote off day and unintentionally respond to another in a way that is not unconditionally loving. We do not want you to be afraid of becoming powerful. We know that most often you are going to make a positive contribution with your power. We also know that sometimes you will wish you could, quote, undo a choice you have made and its effect. Yes, this is absolutely speaking to this Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords energy, okay? To help you, we offer our karmic protection, where the destructive impact of your actions is softened and the positive effect of your actions is enhanced. As you grow in power and impact, our gift of heavenly mercy will surround you, aligning your actions with divine will and blessing you and affecting all by you with divine compassion. That's beautiful. Okay, um, I actually want to get one more uh, from just a little bit more from the animal spirits they are wanting to come out today so we're gonna talk we're gonna talk we're gonna talk with the animal spirits okay <laughs> all right just gonna give this two more shuffles here to close out this reading with the animal spirits here Alrighty, let's see what we've got. Best message, please, animal spirits. What did you wanna, who wants to come join the party for today? Who wants to join the party? Firefly, interesting. That's enough, okay. Very interesting, Firefly. Second here. Where are you, Firefly? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm thinking it's in the fire element. It's actually in the air element. Oops. There it is. Firefly. Inspired and fantastic, yet fleeting. The Firefly contains the light of a thousand stars. It's pure, radiant, and illuminating. This high frequency charge cannot be sustained for long. Therefore, the Firefly card indicates a moment of inspiration or awakening that quickly fades if we do not catch it. There is Firefly energy in every poem, song, and invention. 
Our job is to be ready to harness this creative spirit when it graces our path. When can you, what can you do to support this precious and elusive light? When in balance, Firefly writes, creates, and brainstorms. When out of balance, Firefly is burnt out and feels dull. To bring into balance, one must write a poem or draw. And I feel like there's a little bit, what Firefly is kind of saying, the energy Firefly is bringing forward here is that there's a little bit of almost urgency to take advantage of the opportunity that's in front of you or this person, whether this be an opportunity to really do some deep soul searching and some spiritual healing, or an opportunity to snatch somebody up before someone else does. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I think what I feel is strongest here is an opportunity for someone to really do some inner soul work. that ultimately will guide you or them onto a new path into a new direction. Yeah. Okay. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Um, I think... Yeah. Yeah. That's all. <laughs> okay. Have a great day, guys. Much love to you. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.